Ah, oh, London. What a town. History around every corner, and a tourist photographing it. Pub serving up a pint and a smile. All that music, theatre and art. And multiculturalism. And the world's oldest underground, the Tube. The class of cities, really. Top shelf stuff. Only took 12,000 years to build it up, and one night to tear it all down. Our status. Perimeter security's down, but plenty of your flying friends about. Fucking hell. Dalton, no time to waste. Yes, ma'am. I'm in. Any idea what we're up against, Bagley? If you haven't rushed off, I might. Ever consider leaving these security threats to the authorities? That's rich, Bagley. The government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. Let us sort this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. Bagley, are you detecting a little worry in Sabine's voice? Brilliant. Asking the computer about feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. That hurt you more than it hurt me. Do us a favor and keep it quiet, Dalton. If they don't shoot me, I won't shoot them. How's that? Got loads of dead set gear down here. And why do you suppose that is? What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. But someone wants to make it look like dead set was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. Who are these men in black anyway? Nothing identifying. I suspect that's by design. Oh, fuck me. The entire place is rigged to blow. Jesus, those canisters. Bagley, is that? RDX nitrogen. Enough to level Parliament. Can you locate a detonator, Bagley? Not exactly, but there's a device streaming a fuckload of encrypted data from the floor above you. Yeah, that fits the bill. On my way. Staged dead sec propaganda all around the bombs. These pricks are gonna blow up Parliament and hang it on us. Not if you get to that detonator first.
House of Commons. Whoever these men in black are, they've got brass bollocks to set up in the centre of government. Found the detonator. And it's definitely live. Bagley, I'm gonna need some help with this. Yes, you are, but sadly, I'm locked out. Fuck. Well, we don't have a chance without Bagley. Wait, Wait. I might know a workaround. We trained your manual overrides at MI5. If you're full of surprises. Be quick about it. All right, Bagley, do your thing. I'm in. And the bombs have just armed themselves. Well, that may complicate matters. For fuck's sake. Can you defuse them or not? Of course I can. But I might also trip another failsafe and vaporize it. So, fair warning. I expect this to draw some attention your way, Dalton. Oh, I'm counting on it. Company at our back door. Shit. Dalton, we've got some heat here at HQ. How long is this going to take, Bagley? Depends how often you interrupt me with questions. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. It's about to get real. Fuck. They're on me. I'll try and hold them off. Say I'm both impressed and annoyed by how sophisticated this anti-tamper security is. Still working. Bagley, tell me you're close. I'm through security, now wading through terabytes of decoy code looking for the detonation sequence. Dalton, I need your physical appendages now. What's wrong? There are three slots on the left. One of them is the receiver. You need to pull the controller wire. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm fucking not. Pull the wire. If this gets me blown up... <sighs> Bombs diffused. See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Bagley, you bastard. You nearly gave me a bloody heart attack then. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, what the fuck am I looking at? It appears Parliament is not the only target. More bombs are going live as we speak. On screen, Bagley. Fucking hell, we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. But my sister's at the town conference. We have to do something. I picked up a transmitter on the roof that is sending out a signal to the other bomb sites. If you can reach it, I can shut it all down. Sabine! Fuck! Dalton, we're breached! Go! The roof!
Sabine, what's going on? We're being raided. It's a bloodbath. Her protocol is to wipe everything, including Bagley. I need him for the transmitter. I know, but if they get him, they get everything. Names, opt, locations. Okay, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Wipe him. Yes, wipe me. Do it, Sabine, and get the hell out of there. Fuck. Okay, Bagley's down. You're on your own. Dalton, this goes. It won't. I'll see you at the rally point. I promise. Good luck. some important work. Important work? Killing thousands of... Exactly. To save the world. You do know Londoners have died before. Hmm? The plague, the great fire, the blitz. There's not much fun. But destruction is always the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. Oh my god. Months ago, a series of explosions devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total, but it is expected. For a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. London is now laser focused. They attend Downing Street, where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down dead set. Terrorist group responses by a force. Albion used cutting edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of dead set. A stark warning to would-be insurgents. Corporations are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes. It's a long overdue cleanup as crime numbers take a dive. Illegal gambling, drug trafficking, and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates. The streets of Camden and Brixton. Mandate is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs thanks to the deployment. News outlets, reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated, possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a few the public about the circulation of fake news. Conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet that terrorist group DeadSec were framed for the bombings have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts simply do not any other story.
I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DeadSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have... Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have rounded up dead sick and thrown them in jail. Now, I'll say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at town! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than DedSec ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think if anything, dead sex showed their true colours. It's terrifying to think we harboured such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find dead sex more frightening than the different gangs in London like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a... to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. Fine, whatever.
I've downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. So if I get past this manual override, does that make me dead sec? Hello? One of Sabine's, are you? I'll see you downstairs later then. Fuck. This is it, isn't it? Yo, someone here? Oh shit, there's no power. From the Buccaneer, this is the bug. Hello, resistors, it's bug time. Are you all sitting comfortably? No? Good, that's as it should be. This is the bug. I'm Andy, and joining me to analyze the latest blowflies to emerge from the corpse of a once free Britain, it's Alice. Hello, Andy. And today, we're gonna to talk to you about Albion, uh, your friends and mine, Alice. The government has extended Albion's contract and have also boasted that violent crime has plummeted to a record low. Now, extending Albion's contract to me, that's like having a pet dog. Let's call it Nigel for the sake of... No dead tech registration detected. Identify yourself or I'll seal the exit, hack your optic and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. Look, bruv, you got a problem? Take it out with Sabine. She sent me. Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DedSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. Hello and welcome back to The Upload. In this episode, we're talking about CTOS 3.0, the city operating system that's now powering all of London. For those of you who need reminding, as if anyone does at this point, CTOS was first used in Chicago in 2014 and then at San Francisco in 2017 before coming here to London. And every time it's been rolled out, it's been pretty much an unmitigated disaster. For those of you who are listening who are lucky enough not to be here in London's chaotic scenes, it's worth remembering that the Telecoms Tower is now owned by Bloom. The tower looms over northwest London. It's always been a communications hub, acting as part of the UK's television and communications network. Although there's been some secrecy around its use, and now that Bloom owns it, it's only even more secret. Yeah, now everything that's part of Bloom's city surveillance operation is run through the Telecoms Tower. And I have to say, it looks completely ridiculous. It's got that silly crown thing at the top and all the blue light. What's that even about? What does it do? I don't see that there's any purpose to that at all. It's a blight on the skyline, if you ask me. And it's become the main point of control for millions of people. The system network and Bagley are both operated and streamed from there too. And don't forget about the self-driving cars too. I always thought they were just running on their own. No, CTOS is the big control system behind the cars. There was a point back in the earliest days of self-driving car technology that they operated by themselves. They used to use a series of sensors to see the world around them. Radar, for instance, would look far off into the distance, while LiDAR would detect objects nearby. And while these cars still use uh, some of the... it i'm reconnected to the network downloading our database news archives and oh 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 no terrorist group deadsec responsible for deadly bombings in london dalton wolf dead i leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up so tell me bagley if deadsec wasn't behind them bombings then who was there's a gap in my memory after dalton well let's be honest after i disarmed the bomb at parliament i'm missing information about what happened after i was taken offline from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call.
patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Packley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Gone down? Shit, how'd you make it out? I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition hit would have you hunted down and shot on sight. They're doing a proper crackdown on DedSec here. Listen, I'm on your side, yeah? Believe me. But I don't want to get got, know what I mean? Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DedSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? I say, let's resist. Bruh! Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DedSec. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are... ...essential items in your dead set kit. We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look. Could you come on? You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Let's start with some basic strikes. Hit me, don't be shy. You want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. You're getting it. Couldn't have done that better myself. Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. That's it. Just like that.
there's only one more skill you need to master. Socialization. The rest of your team has arrived. Why not go and have a chat? Welcome to the team, mate. Oh, yes. I'm ready, willing, and able to serve. All right. I still can't really believe we are that sick. Seems like we should have to pass some training exam or something. Too late, cuz. We're getting first-hand experience, yeah? Now that you're all as thick as cyber thieves, Sabine would like to talk to you. Well done, team. It's good to see the safe house filling up again. The only way we're going to keep London from falling into total oppression is by rebuilding the resistance. We need to recruit, train, build back our arsenal. The people are itching to rise up and take their city back. We just need to show them that DedSec are fighting along with them. Yeah, look, what we need to do now is clash with the fuckers who is exploiting London. Albion PMCs have occupied this city. Anyone they don't like gets locked up and beaten. You know who's taken real advantage? Organized crime. We can't ignore Clan Kelly. Fair, but remember that this Zero Day hacker group is still out there. They took out DedSec once, and it's a good bet they'll try again. I believe they were responsible for the bombings and framed DedSec. With your help, I plan to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'd say that's a full docket. Enough talk. Let's unfuck London. First order of business. The Signals Intelligence Response Service, or SIRS, or the Earl Grey Gestapo, have developed a surveillance technology called AR Reconstruction. It's the bleeding edge of privacy rights violation, and thus it could be very useful in our attempts to find Zero Day. 